Gird yourselves for adventure. It's time to try out Dragon Age Inquisition, the latest in the Dragon Age series with terrific graphics and audio. My gosh. And the best of all, it actually works. Hell, even if you look at the system requirements, it's not all that demanding. And yes, you can use it on my kind of laptop, whose specifications are in the description below this video. Make sure to read, read that and don't ask, Uh, can this run on my computer? Okay, you can ask me that, but... Uh, don't ask me for my specs because I always put it on below my video, just so you know. So, before we do that, I want to show you that there is indeed a benchmark for this game. So, I don't, I technically don't have to play the game just to show you guys how well it runs on my kind of machine. I'm going to show you my display settings, window 720p, and uh, I actually don't recommend that you play this anywhere above this. Like, this is the... Like, other than, like, your laptop's 1366 by 768 resolution, I would not go any higher than the default 720p. I'm actually playing this on my full-screen monitor, which supports 75 hertz, but the game never goes above, like, 24 anyway. This is only really good for the menus, anyhow. <clears throat> and, of course, I'm forced to use DirectX 11, but maybe if you have a de dedicated graphics card, you can switch it down to DirectX 9, so that the graphics are, um, do run a bit faster, even if they don't look as good. Now, for the graphics settings themselves, I don't recommend anything higher than, you know, the absolute low, low settings. There is a low default, but it turns on texture quality a little bit better. So I'm going to set it to automatic, and, and now everything is absolute low. With no post-processing, because I think it looks like crap in any game. Multi-sample anti-aliasing... Yeah, it makes it look good on the edges, obviously. No post-processing, water low, and all that wonderful stuff. Nope. And just so you know, uh, it's not important for this video, but I like to set the dynamic range mode to uh, headphones when I'm wearing headphones. But other than that, you could change it to night. Like if you're playing this on a TV, and if you want to play late at night without waking up your folks, <laughs> you can put that one. Not now, Mom! Recording! And I can the TV, obviously. Home theater, if you have it set up. And back to headphones. And, of course, I have to keep the copyright monsters away. So there you go. No confirm changes. You can set up your Origin account. You can go to Dragon Age Keep. And you can actually download an entirely new map for extra replayability. But, again, we're not going to do that. I'm going to, like, in this video, I'm going to do the benchmark. And in another video, I'm going to check out the multiplayer and see how it works with multiple characters on screen in real time. So, let's try out this benchmark. Just so you know, though, that if you have a laptop with Intel HD 4000, and especially if you have a um, slow processor, like worse than i7, the load times are pretty long. Like, about as long as the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions, maybe even slower, unfortunately. So that's a price you have to pay for picking this laptop over the PlayStation 3 version or the Xbox 360 version. Although, to be fair, you do have a lot more flexibility uh, with the PC version in terms of resolution and whatnot. And the game sometimes freezes for a moment. Nope, it's not freezing. But for some reason, I checked the benchmark before and it, there was no audio for a moment. I don't get it. And then I played the actual game and the audio worked just fine. Yeah, see, there's, like, no audio whatsoever. And this was at maximum volume. Okay, so you got a bunch of low-res models. So lots of pop-in. You do have depth of field, which is good. Some sexy chick. Another green thing with some interesting spell effects, even though they're at low-res. Flash. Boom. It's at, like, 15, 16 frames per second. For a... Single player MMO type of game like this, it's the frame rate is okay. I actually played the game before and uh, the frame rate is alright. But I'm not going to show you that because the load times are way too long. 
way too long. Like, the benchmark loaded, like, three times as fast as the actual game. Average FPS, 15.8 with fraps, otherwise it's like 16 to 17 average. Minimum 14 or 15 without fraps. And there you have it, that's the benchmark on this resolution. Now I'm going to lower the resolution and see if we can get a better frame rate, shall we? Uh, nope, that's not lower. For some reason, if you click right, you get a lower res. Uh, 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 there we go. I'm going to do it this. I'm going to stop recording and re-record when I switch resolution, so stay tuned. And we're back. We changed the resolution, although nothing really looks different to me. But I don't know, maybe maybe when I run the benchmark, I could. it'll change. One more time, guys. Another long load time, so I'm going to have to stop recording yet again. But in the meantime, let's check the tutorials. Remember to check your party's equipment, or this game will kick you in the tushy. Yep, it'll kick me in the tushy. Yeah, I don't know when it actually it will start because it like starts like as as soon as I least expect it. So I have to I had to press the record button right then. There we go. Yep, and now it's at proper full screen, proper resolution, all that. The frame rate is not much better. Actually, it's a little more consistent. So yeah, definitely lower the resolution and the settings when you're playing this game on your laptop. It will probably work on the i5 because again the the set um, the system specs were not all that demanding, but it's still better to get an i7 to make up for the fact that you don't have a dedicated graphics card. And again, there was no sound. <laughs> I would say the average is about 20 frames per second, right? Which is about five more. You know, you could use anybody can use five more frames, right? You know, anybody can use five more dollars. Two more frames. Yeah, at least this one is a little more consistent. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't do, like, 800 by 600. I don't know. Maybe if there are configuration files, but I highly doubt that you would go any lower than 1024 by 768, or else everything else would be unreadable. I don't know if you can use high algo switch either. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video, which I'll showcase the multiplayer. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for watching my video, and if you liked what you saw, then please subscribe to my channel and check out my test of other video games, including Borderlands 2, without changing the configuration files. It runs okay. I also have footage for an upcoming racing game called The Crew. I actually played it when it was in closed beta, and I'm surprised to say that it actually works pretty well. And one of my most popular tests is of The Witcher 2, The Assassin of Kings, which runs okay. Although, to be fair, the game looks pretty damn good. Thanks for watching, and goddamn, I'm good.